Hi everyone, really really quick video just to sort of help you out um, with the task um, that I asked you to do this week. So basically we're doing designing a letter, you're copying a letter. Um, I haven't got a, a picture of uh, Benin's work here but what I'd quickly like to do is just to show you how to maybe sketch out your letter and if you want to highlight and go over it or maybe just do that. When you're sketching out, uh, lightly in pencil, um, you know, we've done that, we've all been practicing it this year. Um, if you're doing a letter for example, may, might be doing maybe the letter T for example. What I tend to do is I would draw the shape that I want to do, like that, really quickly, and to do a bubble letter, then you can kind of sketch over and draw around it. And what I'm trying to make sure is my the marks I'm making are very, very light, and there's a reason for that. It's basically, if you go in too heavy and you try and rub that out, it's going to be more difficult, okay? And also, when you, you can see me sketching there, sketch basically for me is very, very light and also broken line. I'm making little adjustments all the time when I'm doing it. That's really important that you give yourself a chance to do that. If you go in really heavy and you make a mistake, it's very hard to rub out. And also if you do a solid single line like that, try and do everything perfect straight away, it can, it can work, be very confident, but it tends to make life a bit more difficult. So if you sketch it very, very lightly, please try doing that and break the line up. And every time there's a gap, it gives you, your brain a chance to function and control what the pencil's doing. Okay, so make sure that you're thinking about that as well. So I've got that bit, basic letter. It doesn't really look like Benin's work, but that's just how it's sketched out. Now, obviously, when you're doing this, you'd probably have a picture of Benin's letters or his, his artwork in front of you. So use that as a reference. I haven't got that today. Um, so what I would say is I'm just, I'm just creating a letter here. When I'm happy with that, I will go over it and outline it uh, with a black pen. If I can find one on my desk here. I've got a dark blue there. Use my dark blue. When I'm happy with the letter, then I can start thinking about Benin's colours and the colours that he's using. And then you can go around with a solid line if that's the style that you want to do. Do it like that. Okay, you can use rulers if you want to. If it's practical, you can use curves. If you can find a shape to draw around, it might help you. But that sketching part's really important to start off with. Okay, so have a think about the colours you're using. You can see I'm using, actually using Sharpies, yeah? You don't have to use Sharpies, you can use coloured pencil. Whatever it is you want to colour with, you can apply colour. Colour render can be done in anything with anything that you want to use. And I'll, obviously I'm just making this a bit more three-dimensional now, which you can see. And what I might do with that, I might come back to this and do some um, coloured pencil work afterwards. So you can use a bit of felt tip and then a bit of coloured pencil work. Just have a little play around with it, do what you want to do, and then I'll come back to this in a moment. Hi, welcome back. Sorry, I just, just jumped the video for there a little bit. I've just felt, finished the letter. I've actually been looking, I had a quick look at his work online. That's not too bad. It's got quite... Quite bold the letters I was looking at. His work's very varied, but we are looking at lettering. Um, you should have done. You did some research on him last week as well in your project. All I'm going to do now is just add a few more textures to this. This is all just done with Sharpie. Guys, just have a practice and have a play around. That a sketching part is really important. So your sketching is really important first, and then once you've done that, then you can start messing around with colours and textures and trying to fill in and try and capture some of like Benin style in the way he does his lettering. So if you have a quick look, I kind of just bodge that a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I'm just again, I'm just trying to get some texture in like he does. This is kind of experimental and developmental at the minute. So yes, you will make some mistakes like I'm doing now. I'm not too happy with that. I probably should have gone across the way, but you know, it's you sort of find out that way by by taking risks and trying things out. You find out what works for you and what doesn't. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this one off now, and then we'll call that quits on this one. Again, all I'm looking for you to do this week is have a little experiment, try things out. I'm using um, Sharpie here, and so I've got some nice Derwin pencils. These aren't quite as good as the barrel, very thin ones we use at school. The tin I've had in my studio for a while now, but I'm just getting, to, getting back into using them. Okay, I'd be happy with that. I may just write a few little comments about what I like, about it, what I don't like about, what's worked, what hasn't. Once I've done that, fine, job done. That's all I need you to do this week. Have fun trying it. Get creative. Thanks, kids.